Hello and welcome back to Building on a Budget Models. I'm Thomas and this is the second part of the Mercedes AMG GT3 in 124th scale by Tamiya. Now in this part I'll be focusing on the interior. I started by spraying this all in silver as that's the main colour needed and then there are several sections which are supposed to be semi-gloss black. However, I decided to look at reference images and uh, add some uh, Tamiya carbon fibre decals. So I used some low tack masking tape and then cut out the right shape for some of these areas. Now whilst those squares are quite simple, I needed some strong decal solution here, as you can see from UMP, for this centre console area because of the complex shape. I found using a hairdryer at low speed also helped it kind of adhere to the shape better and used the craft knife to cut off any excess. If there were wrinkles in places where you wouldn't be able to see them, then it didn't matter so much. Pretty happy with how it's turned out. Now then, the fire extinguisher, it turns out, should have been silver. However, without really looking at the instructions, I painted it red, and then decided to keep it as it stands out better this way. I used some thin pieces of plumber's aluminium tape for the straps and then did the latches in silver paint and then there's a little decal that goes on top. Pretty happy with how that looks. That slots really nicely onto this position here. I'll add some pipes later on. There's a handbrake that goes here but no gear stick in this car as it comes with a flappy paddle gearbox. Now I use these Posca paint pens to do some of the buttons. This is really nice, they give a matte finish and um, they can be really, really accurate. There's also some decals that go in the middle here, this round one, and then there's a climate control switch which goes up above. Now the dash here I decided to keep in the fine grey primer because it's pretty close to the real colour but the underside of it is supposed to be carbon fibre. I started by painting these sections in semi-gloss black and then cut out some very small carbon fibre bits to go in certain places. Again the UMP decal solution really helped it find all the little corners and crevices. little dashboard decal here, the cotton bud's really useful for soaking up excess liquid. Now for the seats I decided to cheat a little bit and do the carbon fibre in two pieces. You won't be able to see the back or the uh, bottoms of the sides at all once it's in place so I decided to just focus on doing the carbon fibre where you could see the seat. So it went down quite nicely onto the sides, but you can see the back in the middle is kind of left bare. Now this vent here, which I'd also added some carbon fibre to, needed to have some silver, so I used some Molotow Chrome. And it slots quite nicely into place here. Now I curved some of the Tamiya cable around a toothpick to make this spiral and then super glued it into place. There is also a small chrome Mercedes three-pointed star which goes onto the steering wheel. This bit's very delicate so you want to use as little pressure as possible. These were all glued in place using Gorilla Glue gel. Pretty happy with that. Now the roll cage is made up of five different parts. They'd all been painted in silver just like the rest of the interior. There's also some foam padding which I'd done in anthracite grey. Again I used the Gorilla Glue gel to fit these into place. 
it suggests to put them into place before adding the seat. The bit that goes across the top has the uh, rear view mirror, which was done in semi-gloss black, and then the mirror adhesive sticker was attached to the back side of it. Now for the seat belts, I used some two millimeter black ribbon and some spare photo etch pieces I had from the Formula One set that I used recently. By cutting the ends of the ribbon into a point, they go through the holes much more easily. And then I just fold them over and super glue them onto the other side. I was happy that they were all in the right position. I threaded them through the holes at the back and then added a little blob of super glue to fit them into place. I then cut out some of the logos from the decal seat belts to add them to the correct places. I used UMP Strong Decal Solution here as I find that Micro Sole doesn't quite help them adhere to the ribbons. So this time I glued the roll cage into place. And then the seat goes in underneath. There's a small AMG decal that goes on the side. Now I decided to do a safety net in the side as I saw used in the uh, video of this car, which I found on YouTube. I cut eight strips of the two millimeter ribbon into two centimeter lengths, and then used a little bit of Gorilla Glue gel at the ends to glue them together into a crosshatch pattern. Be very careful not to glue it to yourself whilst doing this. Now this pattern isn't exactly to scale according to the real one that I saw, but I didn't want to hide too much of the detail on the inside. Pretty happy with that. And that just simply super glues onto the side of the roll cage here. The dashboard just clips in with two pins at the top. And the top of the roll cage is a little bit more fiddly as you need to squeeze it in from both sides. But there we are. Pretty happy with the detail that I've managed to achieve in this. Hopefully you'll be able to see some of it when the roof is on. Now the door cards are supposed to be carbon fibre, but I decided that you wouldn't see these details very well, so I just did them in semi-gloss black and added a little silver paint to the door handles. These clip really nicely into place using a little bit of super glue again. And then there's just one little diagonal bar which fits on this parcel shelf. I should say before that I did the parcel shelf in semi-gloss black as I couldn't see any reference pictures to see that it had carbon fibre. It probably did, but I decided to leave it this way anyway. As a final touch, I added a few little wires around the kind of electrical parts and the fire extinguisher, and there it is, fitted into place. Doing the interiors is one of my favourite parts of building these models. I'm pretty happy with this, so please do let me know in the comments below how you think I got on, whether you think I improved on the stock one, and thanks for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe, 
and I'll see you soon.